Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and uh, welcome to Mr. 250's battle strategy to complete Steins Gate, the visual novel. So, uh, if you've been following me, you know that we just got the Suzaha ending recently, which uh, I probably will have posted on the same day I post this. Uh, it's For me, it's coming. It, I will be posting the actual videos tomorrow, but uh, I will release this a little bit tomorrow, a little bit after the uh, the videos come out. So the battle plan for right now is we just got Suza's ending, and you'll notice in front of you is a very ugly tree thing I made in paint, but it, it describes what I'm trying to talk about really well, a lot better than all these websites have been doing. And so the way the game works is, to get Suza's ending, I chose not to, well, I, I wouldn't say chose, I didn't know I was supposed to make the choice, but I had chosen not to send a email to Ocarine, to change Suzaha's past. But now we're going to do that, which will set us in line for Ferris's ending. We can get Ferris's ending, which keep in mind, Ferris's ending goes along a common path that all these other endings go along, which means we won't have to replay them. And we can get Ferris's ending, then go back a little bit, continue forward, continue along this common path, get Ruka's ending, go back a little bit, go forward, hit Mayuri's ending. Then it gets a little complicated, but not so much for you guys, more just for me. Uh, what we'll end up doing is we'll go back to, I think, Chapter 4, and honestly, we won't be that far from the, like, in terms of story from where my Yuri's ending is. The only difference is that we'll have made some different changes along the way in the story. And then, uh, so, and I'll show you guys all of them, but overall it shouldn't take too long in terms of actual video size it might take me a little bit of time but it shouldn't take you guys that long to watch it we'll get Kurisu's ending then we'll back up a little bit more and get the true ending so overall I'm not imagining more than about four or five hours of extra content just for their individual endings not including the common path of course that's what will take most of the time so that's the battle strategy for right now and uh hopefully all goes well I'll be having a uh, I'll be having a web page next to me to you know, while I'm recording to keep open any important, you know, any important decisions I need to make so I know them ahead of time. But overall, this should all go quite smoothly, actually. It seemed a lot more complicated based on all these stupid website things. Like, they, they list saves and they list, like, they don't tell you what decisions are important and which ones aren't important, which I don't care about the unimportant ones, only the ones that pertain to the story and... It's just confusing sometimes, honestly. It really is. So hopefully uh, this very poorly drawn tree should have listed out more exactly what we're going to be doing. And honestly, it could be modified a little bit more to be m like have more information in it, but I felt like this was the easiest way to explain what we're going to be doing. So hope that I hope that all makes sense. If it doesn't, I you know you can ask me in the comments and I'll try to give you my best explanation, but this is the best I can currently come up with for what we're going to be doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, in a few days we'll begin with Ferris's ending. Thanks for watching. Bye!